Dad pays three tenths of his $2,000 paycheck in taxes. And maybe he would in reality pay less than that, but I don't want to get involved with fractions like 24 over 100 or something like that. This is simpler. Of what is left, he uses one fifth to pay a loan, a loan payment. How much is left after those two payments? After paying the taxes and after paying the loan payment. This problem I want to show you using the bar diagram once again. Okay? I will draw a bar to represent a total. What total is there? Well, it's this total here, the 2000. And then that would be divided into 10 parts. There. And I'm going to mark is going to pay that much in taxes. And this whole thing is 2000. Oops, a little tight on space. Now, this is what he has left after taxes, this much. So let me draw that again here. This is like how much he has left after taxes, okay? And now we look at the other situation. He uses one fifth of that to pay a loan. So this gets divided into five pieces. And then this goes away. And this is how much is left. So this is our unknown, okay? So we will start out with this first part here, the $2,000, and figure out how much he has left after taxes. So what would be left if he pays three tenths in taxes? How much would be this one block here, one tenth? It's one tenth of $2,000. So that would be each block here is 200, right? So what he has left after taxes is this much, seven of those blocks times 200, which is 1,400. After taxes, that's how much he has left. So this here, this whole thing here is 1,400. Now I want to find out how much is this piece here. That would be the 1,400 divided by 5, right? Well, for that I might just need long division. Okay, 2 times 5 is 10, and then here, 40, and then 0, 280. Each one of these blocks here is 280. And we can see what he has left from the diagram is 4 of those blocks. So 4 times 280, 0, and 32, and 11. So that is our final answer now. We already have it. It is... $1,120 is left for dad after those payments, just a little over half of his paycheck.